And for more on China-India relations, we're joined from Beijing by Qian Lu of the Economist Intelligence Unit. Mr. Yu, thank you so much for joining us. First of all, has there been a shift in your view in the way China and India view each other? Um, I would I would argue that China has usually been measuring itself against U.S. while India has been measuring itself against China uh, in 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 his uh, his in historic years. Um, we have seen that the two partners have come together and realized that a, a partnership rather than a sort of enemy position is more important for both parties. Uh, what areas of trade do you think, uh, Ms. Liu, are we going to see the biggest boost between the Chinese and the Indians? Well, there are many uh, industries that uh, can benefit from this. Uh, to start with, uh, construction equipment is uh, one of the big uh, export products that China ships to India. In fact, India is already the largest export market for China's uh, cranes. Um, and we also see that on textile and clothing, the two partners uh, can uh, find a lot of common grounds to work with each other. And the view, uh, Ms. Liu, uh, among uh, some uh quarters is that India will overtake China in terms uh, of uh, growth in the economy and size of economy by 2050. Do you think uh, this is the case and uh, will this bring its own set of attentions between China and India? Uh, we're expecting to see that the GDP growth rate of India will overtake China in the next couple of years. But when it comes to the sheer size of it, um, it's not going to happen uh, by, the, uh, by 2050. Chan Lu from the Economist Intelligence Unit in Beijing, thank you so much for your insight.